So this is from a movie called Transporter. So we, we want to figure out, for this clip, um, we want to figure out uh, the acceleration of the car, the, the acceleration required by the car to make that jump. Um, so, which we, we, it's a, probably in slow motion, so it's likely that we want to use the equation of motion that doesn't have time in it, okay? Um, so, what do we need to know? See if I can. I mean, this one's quite hard because it's hard to see what they're actually doing. How how fast does the car need to get to, roughly? So he's not actually moving. So. How fast does the car need to get to, to, to do this? Anybody? Roughly. What speed? Like 100 miles an hour? 20 miles an hour? 30 miles an hour? Anything. Anybody want to, yeah, go for it. What? I don't know. I can't really. Okay, but just to, just to land on this thing, what would, it, what would the car's horizontal velocity need to be to land on that thing? Anybody? Well, yeah, go. Yeah. Does he have to clear? See, like the top of the bridge. There's like that little railing thing. Does he have to clear that first? He does, that? but you're right. But they they don't. Okay. Yeah, he, he really would have to break that. But yeah. we're assuming that for some some magic that it just disappears. Them. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you agree that he, he his car needs to be going in this direction, okay? And it needs to land on here. So if it needs to land on this thing, yes, it has to match the speed of this car carrier, right? So it has to go from zero to this speed, right? That makes sense to you? To land on it. And all of that acceleration has to take place on the bridge because the bridge provides friction to the wheels to push the car forward. Once the car's in the air, it's not, it doesn't have any rockets on the back of it. So, you know, it's just lurching forward. There's no force apart from gravity. But we're only looking at the horizontal part. We only care about the horizontal part. We can separate them, and I'll explain why later on. But let's just think about the horizontal part. So you have the car. It's on the bridge. It has to get basically from zero to the speed of the car carrier in a certain distance. And it's a very short distance because it's, it's hard to see, but it must be the width of the bridge, right? You see, the, the, is that, I, don't, I don't mean that. I don't mean that way. I mean that way. Is that clear to people? So, so the guy. He's he's actually called. I can't remember his name. Uh, Jason Statham. Jason Statham. I mean the actor. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it's Frank something. Um, so he's basically on his stationery. <laughs> And then he's speeding up. And then you're right. I mean, this should. How's he, how does he leap over that, right? He's he goes through. Like, his front wheels hit the curve, like popped up a little bit, and then just like mixed the back wheels. <laughs> in in, that, in the, that kind of distance, right? I mean, it's really. The, the road itself can't be, more, can't be wider than, say, two lanes. So he has two lanes to basically do all that in. Uh, so at this point, What's the speed of this car? Roughly. Yeah. Equal, it has to be equal to the truck for it to land. It has to match the speed, okay? The truck's about here. It's about here. They have to move together. So what happens is they move together, but the car drops. But remember we talked about this in the last class. You don't, your horizontal velocity basically stays the same. So it would keep going, but it would drop. And it would land perfectly on there. I mean, maybe not in reality, but in the movie. So, that's cool. All right, so let's put that on the board, just to clarify. So for question eight, you basically have this car, which has, for some reason, has more wheels than it should. 
So this car is here. It needs to go from u equals 0 to v equals something to land on basically uh, this car carrier. That's basically what's happening in the clip. So this is, this is, this is, the, uh, this is the bridge. So what do you think that distance is about? Any idea? We just we really have to guess something. Eight meters, eight meters is reasonable. Yep. Yeah. So we call, let's say that's eight meters. About um, so meters to feet you can multiply by three ish. So twenty five feet. Um, so in eight meters it has to go from u equals zero to what velocity? Roughly. Anybody? 30 miles per hour, right? Because this guy is moving at 30 miles per hour, OK? So this one needs to move at 30 miles per hour to have enough horizontal velocity. Don't worry about the vertical motion. We can, we can treat them separately. To have enough horizontal velocity to land on it, it needs to be going at 30. So we have a distance here. We have an initial velocity here. And we have a v here. So we can figure out the acceleration. Let's put it in meters per second. Just a bit easier. Because then I can get the answer in terms of g's. All right? So it needs to go from 0 to 15 in 8 meters. So which equation would we use? Acceleration. Right. So we use v squared minus u squared is 2as. Where this would be s. We have a v, we have a u. So we, the only unknown is a, OK? That makes sense. So we can solve for the acceleration. And we can figure out what the acceleration of the car needs to be. So we do that. We just put in some numbers. So we put in some numbers. We have uh, v equals 0, u equals 15 meters per second squared, s equals 8, excuse me, 8 meters. So we would end up with, we could say 0 squared minus 15 squared equals 2a multiplied by uh, 8, OK? So we'd end up with 16 times by a, OK? And here we have. Um, Minus uh, 225. I messed up, didn't I? I made a mistake. Sorry. I put them the wrong way. Somebody, I heard a couple of people saying it. I, this should be V, right? So let's, let's start again, OK? You might need to put a line through uh, the stuff we just wrote down. So the, the equation is v squared minus u squared equals 2as. In fact, it's probably it's a better, it's better practice to actually isolate the thing you want first. Yeah, you have a question? Yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place. Thank you for that. OK, let's start again. You know, I'm doing some of these on purpose. <laughs> Not really. So are we good? So we go from 0 to 15 meters per second in 8 meters. All right, so let's rearrange. Let's get A by itself, OK? So we can say that um, A is V squared minus U squared divided by um, 2S, right? I'm just dividing by 2S on both sides of the equation. So if you see me make a mistake, please point it out, because it happens. Yeah. So s is the distance, OK? So in, in this case, it's here. You see the a, it's the distance traveled. So if it's horizontally, s would be the height. But if it's vertically, if it's sorry, you know, I'm talking nonsense today. If it's vertically, s would be the height. If it's horizontally, s would be the horizontal distance. All right. Slow down. All right, so putting in the numbers, 
we end up with 15 squared minus 0 squared divided by 16. Assuming that this is the positive direction. All right. And then we would end up with A equals 225 divided by 16, which is about, um, well, I don't have a calculator. Don't, can somebody do that in a calculator? 14. 14, OK. So we get about 14 um, meters per second squared, which is about 1.4 g. Now, the fastest car in the world, I th at least that can change, but the, one of the fastest cars in the world is a, is a, is a B B Bugatti? Bugatti? Is that any, what's it called? Bugatti. Bugatti. OK, so this thing has an acceleration of about 1 g. Uh, basically, it can go, I think it's 0 to 30 miles per hour in is it six seconds or something? So you can actually convert that to acceleration quite easily. Uh, you can say it's 0 to 15 meters per second squared, uh, meters per second, in six seconds, right? Does that make sense to people? You, you're with me? So it can go from 0 to 15 in six seconds. So that gives you, OK, that's about the same though, right? in two and a half seconds. Wow. So we call that three, right? I don't, you can tell that I don't own one. <laughs> so zero to 60 miles per hour in three seconds. So that means it's zero to 30 in three seconds, right? That actually is quite nice because it's going to come out much, it's going to be much easier to calculate the acceleration, right? So what's the acceleration going to be? A is uh, V minus U over T, yeah? Okay. So it's going to be anybody? 30 yeah, 30 over 3, which is 10 meters per second squared, which is about 1 G. So the car in the movie clip, which does not look like a Bugatti thing, is um, actually accelerating about one and a half times faster. So this car would go to zero, maybe it's zero to 90 in three seconds or something like that, okay? I don't know the exact value. All right.